We are experiencing our first significant storm of the season. Meteorologists are calling it a bomb cyclone, and that's because of how quickly and intensely it is moving through southern BC, with up to 150 millimeters of rain possible for some parts of the province. Quite scared and at the same time excited to see what happens. Mixed emotions in Kitsilano, residents getting a walk in, the calm before the storm. Our uh, mother, she's away from the country, so she asked us to actually go to her place and put the fur patio furniture inside. The bomb cyclone descended on much of the coast and Vancouver Island this morning, packing heavy rain and wind. This is a storm that has incredibly deep strength or strengthening over a short period of time, really looking at 24 hours. John Richardson, an expert in forest and conservation sciences at UBC, says after months of drought, Vancouver's trees are in a very vulnerable position. Many of the trees in the forest are pretty stressed and one of the consequences of that is that some of the roots will have died which means that if we do get the winds that people predict that many of the trees will lose branches, they may even come down. The Lionsgate Bridge was closed in both directions this afternoon when a large piece of loose metal blew across and got wrapped around a light fixture at the south end of the bridge. It reopened just before two but the greater impact of the wind was felt on the island. Strongest winds are right along the coast and through the Strait of Georgia. Vancouver Island to east side of Vancouver Island, especially as those winds wrap around the island and really batter that eastern part of Vancouver Island. He says that's where we could see winds gusting to 90 kilometers per hour. But the wind isn't the only concern. I would expect that we would probably see not only localized flooding just because of the intensity of rains, but more landslides and more debris avalanches uh, because of the material that's already accumulated there. I love when the wind like whistles through my windows and yeah, it just feels like spooky and exciting and it, yeah, it's like welcome to fall. So Now as for how long this storm will last, our meteorologist Michael Koo says this weather will ease overnight but may stick with us up until Thursday as strong winds will still be moving up the coast then back to sunshine this weekend in Vancouver Kate Walker City News